Hi guys, welcome back and to all my new subscribers. Hello, my name is Margaret. I'm from the Netherlands. I do paper crafting, junk journaling and such. I hope you all have seen my very big uh, thrift haul video. Um, so you recognize this one. Yeah, I picked this up um, at a thrift shop for nearly nothing. I know it's not vintage. It's from, uh, well, probably uh, 2002. It is a big road atlas from Britain. And I really want to use the papers in here. So I'm going to do a project like a holiday travel related project uh, with, you know, Great Britain as the subject. <laughs> so let me tell you what I want to make today. There's no prototype on my desk. So it's going to be an experiment adventure. I don't even know what I'm going to call it. It is going to be some sort of a uh, booklet, ephemera holder thingy, um, where you could store all your paper souvenirs from your holidays, holiday travels in. Yeah. And then it's going to be all about Great Britain. Okay. So let me show you the um, sort of papers that I'll be using today. For sure, the this map. Yeah. I'm going to use some of these papers. I have some old vintage postcards aren't these lovely these most of these are from the 70s and they're all from england or well great britain let's call it great britain winchester and the cotswolds i don't know where this is from let's see don't know doesn't say but it's old but it has it has a beautiful queen on it so i know it's from england the lake district um this is the Jews house cathedral from lincoln yeah well printed in england so don't know uh big ben that's probably london the isle of man and this is from wiltshire i don't sometimes i don't know i don't know everything in in the uk but you know some of the postcards then i printed out some images that i really like um some travel images these are all sorts of uh, holiday destinations in the uk and they are from like the early 19th century like the 20s and 30s and such and some uh travel ephemera also all from the uk so i want to use these i'm also going to use some postage stamps i think i have this baker's twine in red white and blue well that's the colors of the union jack so probably going to use that and the basic supplies like uh, scissors glue and such i will use a scoreboard but you know if you don't have one you don't need to use it and my bits and bobs you know cannot do without my bits and bobs so um let's get started let's go on an adventure because i i really don't know how this will turn out you know better than i do because you've seen the thumbnail so let's get to it i have taken out one of my encyclopedia pages you don't need it to be to encyclopedia pages you can have this any sort of big book page you like it needs to be a little bit sturdier than normal paper but don't use a uh, scrapbook paper that will be too heavy uh, and it needs to be a little bit taller than like well it needs to be a little bit taller i want this to be like some sort of harmonica zigzag spine does it make any sense i don't know what to call it because i've never made one so it's an adventure but this is too big of a piece so i need to cut it down lengthwise so i'm just making a mark how big my postcard is i have from all the postcards i've picked out six i believe five or six one two these are uh, five and they are all the same size i think that is very important for this project to have them all the same size so cutting it down and now i'm taking out my scoreboard hopefully you have one otherwise you need some measuring guys what i'm gonna do is i'm going to make uh, some sort of a zigzag construction so i am scoring um every half inch yeah so I'm making a score line on all the half inches so or a centimeter half an inch and an inch and uh, one and a half and so forth and so forth so easy right yeah 
thus far it's easy <laughs> i only made this in my brain i thought about it i did see um, a couple of sort of projects using this sort of spine but i never made one myself so it could be absolute rubbish but you know you learn almost there almost there there you go okay so we have all these scores on here now so now what we need to do is fold them zigzag so one goes this way like so then you flip it over and then you fold it on the score the other way yeah flipping it over again and then folding it again so you will end up with a harmonica type of thing yeah i'm gonna do that off camera because boring so i'll be right back now we have a sort of accordion zigzag thingy yeah um i also want to glue part down yeah i'm i this is very confusing to me so i marked it i marked it on the other side so basically what you need to do is glue this piece onto this piece this piece onto this piece let me zoom you in i marked it this whole strip is going to be glued down to this strip then this whole strip is going to be glued down to this strip so you skip one every time you skip one and then it will work out hopefully because again all in my head yep glue down marked it here what you do is just skip one strip gluing it down this probably has a name <laughs> they, they probably call it something i don't know what but you can use it to make some sort of booklets with this no now my glue stick is empty don't worry I have a bigger one. Another one. I mark these for myself just to just to not get confused. I'm already confused, so I'm confused enough now. One here. We probably also have too many of these sort of pieces, but that's okay because you can snip some off. Yes. Now, see? Now it looks like this. And that's what we want. But it is too many. But that's okay. I'm gonna cut it down. Already cut it down. I now have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Well, eight pages. Yeah? So I just got the, uh, the parts that I didn't want off. So this is sort of the spine now. I don't like how that looks. So what I'm gonna do is have a piece of washi tape over it, just to even it out a little bit. You're probably not even gonna see much of this. This is a washi tape that I never used, or maybe once. Uh, this was the back. I think I bought it at Ikea or something. They had like the set of, of washi tape and I was like, well, okay, I'm gonna try it. Uh, yeah, but it's way too modern for me. It's not my style, this at all. There you go. I'm just gonna flip this over. Does look better now. See? Looks a lot better. A bit too long, so I'm snipping this off. Ta da! Sort of accordion. Okay. Now this is the spine. It has a name, probably. Don't know what. Let's see. I want a cover. What do we have on the cover? Winchester? 
we could have Big Ben on the cover. No, I'm not going to do that because I'm not going to have the book open like this. I'm going to have it open like so. I think I'm going to have Winchester on this cover. Over here. Yes. I am taking out art for this. Well, that that was a fantastic job, Margaret. Really fantastic. Lining it up with the bottom. Yeah. Now there's glue everywhere. Well, that's page one. This is our cover. Great. I also want to do the back, the back cover. Let's have the Lake District on the back. Yep. Okie dokie. This is such an experiment. I don't, I don't even know if this is going to work, but you know. Yep. Well, it looks almost like a booklet. Now we have to put the cards in the middle and I want to alternate it with um, envelopes that I make from the maps. Yeah, so let's do that first and then we'll glue everything in. Let's pick out a page that we really like with lots of sort of names and streets on there. Roads. This one? Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna do this one. Perfect. Let's use this one. I want to make the simplest of envelopes. If I take out my card and I measure it, because this is sort of the, the size of the booklet, uh, I can have two of these, almost two of these, but I don't mind them being a little bit smaller uh, than the booklet. That's not a problem. I do want to lose this edge. Normally I would love that one, but I'm going to lose that edge. So what I'm, what I'm going to do is fold it up right up to the sort of raggedy edge over here. Have it straight, love. That would be really, really fantastic. Yes. So this is the middle. It's a very large piece. You could take your scissors. I don't have a paper cutter that is this big. Uh, but I do have like a craft knife. So I'm going to slide it out a lot. Have it at, as flush as I can against to my uh, desk. And then just cut it this way. Trick Joey taught me. Yes. Thanks, Joey. All the way to the end. So, now we have half half. Uh, I really also need to cut this off, but I'm going to do that later. Later. First, then I'm going to fold this in half again. Really gonna burnish it well, yeah. Have a nice sharp fold. I can take my cutter, but this is at hand, so why not use this? Also, Eva from Bohemian Crafting uses her knives. She just takes out these knives. She doesn't use the handle, just with, a, uh, no. No, 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 thank you. I want to keep all of these, yeah. So, two pieces, we're gonna make envelopes. Very simple ones. Now this is directional, guys, so make a decision if you want to have uh, the flap readable or uh, the back side. I want to have the flap readable. So 
if I fold this like so, you cannot see it. If you fold this low, yeah. Also not, no. How, 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 how? Yes, this is the right side up. Just fold it and see what is the right side up. So this is the right side up, yeah? Um, I'm taking this as a template, putting it in the middle. This is going to be the envelope. It's not going to go all the way to the top, as you can uh, tell, but that's okay. That doesn't really matter. Is it still directional? Yeah. It's so easy. I'm just going to fold this um, like so. There's one. Minchin Hampton. No clue. No clue. Again, having this as a template and then folding this over to match it. But this is going to be the flap. Very simple. Yeah. Now, all we have to do is glue this part to this part. And you have an envelope. Easy, right? Let me show you again. Piece of paper. Um, bim, bim, bim. Yes, it's going to be this side. Okay. Again, folding this up like three quarters of the way. Kilmington, okay. <laughs> and then fold this over. Ta-da! second envelope so i cut the other piece the strip off and then uh cut it in half again and then i found where is it it says lake district yes and one of the cards also said lake district so yeah i definitely want this to be the flap then yeah making two more envelopes Sort of over here. Yep. It's so it's so cool to see all the places that you've never heard of. And then the Lake District. Cool. Last one. Um, yes, I'm going to have this side. I was looking if it had any interesting um, sort of places on here. Well, everything's interesting to me. But that were perhaps on the cards or something. This isn't cut very nicely, is it now? No. You did a horrible job. As usual. And then Wickton. Okay, Wickton. I'm going to trim this because this looks this looks horrible. Yes. Uh, paper trim, I thank you. Just gonna take a sliver off. Yes, straight now. Okay, we have four envelopes. Yes. Before I glue them in and the other cards in, I want to do some decorating. I think that will work better before we put them in. Um, we have, we'll have a little bit more room then. These are all the small ephemera pieces that I want to use. What happened? Yeah, injury, paper cut. <laughs> Those are the worst. I'm sorry. Those are the worst. But hey, what can you do? What I want to do is glue down the, um, the envelopes. Do I want to make some sort of a thumb notch here? Don't know, don't know. Well, let's do some of them. Doesn't really need to have them, but you know, oh, why not? Thumb notch here. I'm not inking. I have decided not to ink. 
why not just do all of them then? I don't even know if I need four envelopes, but we'll see. If I don't need them, I can use them for another project. Right, so I'm gluing them down and then I want to decorate a couple of them. I also want to put pockets on the cards, on the insides of the cards. To have more space to put, to put your um, holiday ephemera in. Yes, and why not smear it all over your mat. Yeah. Are you going on holiday? Have you been? We did not go on holiday. Well, we're not holiday kind of people. Um, to be honest, both of us aren't. We, we're not. We are not. Uh, we spend our holiday renovating the bathroom. <laughs> yes. And for the next holiday, we are renovating the staircases. Yeah. So lots of renovating in, uh, in our house. And next year we'll probably do the gardens. So yeah, we don't really like to travel. Well, we don't hate traveling, but we both cannot really uh, cope with uh, the heat. We, we are very pale Dutch people. And we don't like like the beach or sand or, you know, we both don't like it. But also, we both don't won't, don't like snow and uh, skiing and such. So, what is there to do? Well, you know, renovate your home. Envelopes done. Let's do some decorating on the back. I have all these lovely cards that says, you know, Brighton on Hove. I'm just gonna do some some decorating. I think that'll look nice. When you're going to do this uh, for real, like I went on holiday and I uh, want to make something like this as a sort of uh, keepsake, use real ephemera that you found then, of course, like small cards. Oh, that's almost the same color. So let's not have that on here. Yes, lovely little cards. I just found these on Pinterest and such. I don't know. Um, I cannot probably uh, pro probably cannot scan these and uh, or you know share with you guys because probably copyrighted or something. I don't know. But this is just a small little project for myself. Let's do this one. Another card that says Clacton on Sea. Okay. Just putting on a card, probably going to put on some other bits and bobs, maybe a, a label or something. You know me. So, three of those. Oh yes, I'm probably going to have labels on the front as well, over here, and a postage stamp. But first, I want to see uh, if we can make some pockets on the cards. I need to make a pocket here and a pocket here. Because I also want to have the closure. I have, I have a special kind of closure in mind. Um, so let me show you that first. For the closure, I'm using two pieces of craft colored cardstock. Could be like scrapbook paper or just some scraps that are a little bit heavier. One side was stamped on. I really don't mind that. I actually like it. Uh, but I'm going to uh, decorate the other side. Now let me tell you what I want to do, what my plan is. I want to glue part of these to the back, like so. Cover this with a pocket and then fold them over to the front and have them meet with a piece of baker's twine. But I want the front to be decorated with lovely postage stamps. So. Very confusing. It could be very confusing. <laughs> so what I already did was mark where I don't I don't need to uh, decorate this bit because it's going to be glued here. And if we flip this over, all the face I want the faces to go this way. Yeah, that's why I made a mark this side up because for some reason. I am confused today. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna decorate these with my with the postage stamps. 
Let me tell you something about the postage stamps. I was looking for that beautiful queen, um, you know, Elizabeth. I have lots of postage stamps. I have a whole box. Luckily, her face is very recognizable. <laughs> so I found them. I found a lot of them. But most of them were not from England. Yes, her face is on everything. On everything, I can tell you. Canada, New Zealand, Australia, Uganda. Somehow I found her everywhere. Everywhere. I'm just dividing everything up. Already have that color. So it could be that some of them are from a different country than uh, Britain, but I tried, I tried to sort of see uh, what else, what color don't we have? This one, this one, sure, this one, this one. Okay. So yeah, very funny. Um, this side, lovey, this side. I'm gonna make a quick sort of collage with her lovely face everywhere. Isn't she pretty? And also she's been queen for like 400 years. Yeah. She is pretty though. Isn't she pretty? I think she's very pretty. I mean, don't get me wrong. I love my queen, especially Juliana. Uh, but she wasn't a pretty woman. No. No, she was a kind soul though, yeah. She was very, very lovely. We're gonna have this go up the page. Well, probably won't have this up the page. Yes, there we go. This one over here. You're gluing on your mat, love. I know, I know, I know, I know. Shall we have some go this way? No, no, you were not going to do that. I should have made a plan of how to do this. But this whole video wasn't planned, let's be honest. It wasn't planned at all. I was like, oh, I think I want to do this. I'll make it up as we go. Just making a quick collage with stamps. I don't have enough stamps here. But that's fine because I have more. I have more. Maybe I can use them that says Canada because Canada was on the bottom. So you won't even see it. You will not even see it. There you go. And let's have a sort of a blackish one. No, blue. Blue. Oh yeah, totally off camera. Of course I am. There we go. We just need a spot here. Tada! Gonna do the other one. And it's both. They're lovely. Yes. We need to make some scores. Yeah. I'm going to score this at one and a half. This part is going to be glued down uh, to the last page. And then add two. So one and a half and two. I'm really going to score it because it is very heavy. Flipping this over one and a half. This part is going to be stuck to the card. And then... Two. 
so we'll have a little bit of a spine hopefully i can fold this yep that's the one and now the other one and yes and this one and then the spine great This is way too big. Why is this way too big? Wrong measurements? Yeah. Yep. They're the same now. Cute, right? Yes. I love it. Um, I'm rounding the corners, hoping my corner rounder does not find this too thick because it's very heavy now. I'm using the largest setting. Oh, it's okay. There we go. Now I want to have an eyelet in. I am again eyeballing the middle. Why not? Why not eyeball the middle? Sort of over here. When I cut the hole, I'm just gonna line these up. So I know the holes are on the same point on both cards. There you go. See, two holes. The exact same spot. Putting in an eyelet. Smaller setting. Here's one. And the other one. Great. Now we need to glue them down. Was this the back? No, this is the front. Make this trick. We're gonna have this on the front, yeah. I'm using art for this. Ooh, art is like all snotty because it's warm. It is lining it up sort of in the middle of the card, a little bit lower than the middle. Yep, and then the other one. It would be best if these line up, yeah? So if we close now, we have to fill it. See? This is going to be the closure. It's so cute! Yeah, I love it! Let's um, glue some cards in. Of course I want to cover this up because um, I don't like this really. So I need to make a big pocket here. So I have another piece of map, yeah, and I think I want to make a large pocket. I'm gonna fold this over so it's also a little bit reinforced on the top. This is just going to be a very, again, a very simple pocket. I'm not gonna do a lot to this. Yeah, that's perfect. It's already the, the correct size. Gluing this flap down. This is just to reinforce it. 
I don't even uh, need uh, to glue the bottom down. I'm not gonna do that because it won't go anywhere. Just have a strip of glue on both sides. You could make like a thumb notch in here. You could ink it. I'm not gonna do any of that. Lining it up. There we go. The queen is peeking out a little bit. See, pocket. We want something on the pocket. I took out some um, labels. I thought it might be nice on here. Like so, sure. These are not Tracy Fox labels. No, no. This is from, um, oops, Michelle, the Summer's Bounty Kit. I know that one. And this is from Tina Shabby Dabby Duda, the sort of gentleman kit. Still need to make something with a gentleman kit. So, pocket there. And I want to do basically the same on the other side. Still have some of this map left. Let's cut a piece off. Let's have it straight. This is probably straight. <laughs> okay, do we want it directional? Sure. I want to have all the cities on there. Very simple pocket. See, it fits. Again, only the glue, gluing the outsides, not the bottom. You could glue the bottom if you want to, but there's no need. Glue it in, another pocket with another label. I actually like this one. Now let's start gluing in some um, of these envelopes. I want to have this one. This was the front, yeah, that says Lake District. And then this one uh, right behind there here. So I'm going to put glue on this strip. See, this piece. Oops. And then basically gluing this on here. Lining it up, gluing it in. See? Now it's a page. Now for a card. Yep. Putting glue here, putting the card in, gluing it down. Let's do another envelope. This part is easy, right? Yeah. Still don't know if I'm doing it the correct way, but you know. Card, envelope, card. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Some glue. This is easy though. You could also uh, put a strip of washi tape uh, over it. I think I will do that. I think that will look nice. Another one of these. Envelopes, and there you go. Yep, and we have one more card.
Oh yeah, it does look cool. I like it. I like it. Um, let's. I'm gonna decorate some more, guys, because I have some labels left and I have all of these. So there's going to be stuff on there. But it works. The construction is here. Very happy about that. This is more like let's make a prototype video <laughs> instead of I'm gonna do a tutorial. Not a tutorial at all. No. Where is my string? Yep. Guys, I get my baker's twine from AliExpress. Um, and they, I have, there's a shop there that has like a million colors and I have so, so many. I really have a lot. And they're, I think, sort of cheap. A roll like this will probably cost me less than three euros. Yeah, 295 or something. Less than three euros. So that's a steal. That's a, an absolute steal. This is how it's going to look. Oh yeah, I like it. I like it. Great. I want to do some quick decorating because the video is already very, very long. I'm going to go this way first. Yes, opening it up. And then this envelope. I want to have sort of a closure. Uh, so I'm putting this here so you can stick the flap underneath. Yeah. Good idea. Good idea, me. So I'm not gluing it all the way down. I'm leaving uh, the top part unglued. So you can tuck the flap underneath. Oh, I did, that says bath. I did have a piece of map that says bath, but not here because this is the Lake di District. See, and you can tuck it in. Do you want some sort of a small label there then? Yeah, let's do that. Not on the Lake District. I want the late Lake District to be visible. Yep. Okay, then we have a card here. And then over here, I think I want to have this as the closure. Yep, again, gluing it not all the way to the bottom, but like three quarters of the way. This is a hotel in Blackpool. See, again, you can tuck this in. A bit too big. Oh, let's have a, a poster stamp. Blue one. Yeah. Yep. Next is another postcard and the last envelope. And I was thinking Hyde Park Hotel in London. Sure. Yep, are these too big? They are. I do want a label there. Do I have a smaller one? Of course you do, love. You have so many. So, so many. Like a red one. There you go. And then I'm going to flip it over and open it up like so. So we decorated this. Do we need another poster stamp to go on there? I think so. think so. And then on this card, I want to use these big, bigger ones. Yeah, you could have this as a pocket. I am not gonna because there's enough pockets in there already or a tuck spot. 
I just want to have some decorating on there. Kind of like that. Do we need uh, a label? <laughs> well, yes. There we go. Next one. And this one says Blackpool. Again. Yep. Where was the other Blackpool? Don't know. Lovely cards, these. I just uh, did a search for vintage England travel images. And then these came up. And they are very lovely. Oh, this color works best. Yeah. There you go. And the last one. Yes. Lakeland by the sea. This card was from 1975. So it's an oldie. Yeah, I'm going to have this on here as well. There you go. Again, this is going to be a long video. I am so sorry, guys. But I do want to have a final flip through. Yes, so let's do that. Let's do a quick flip through. Yes, I love the cover. This is a great idea. I am happy with the end result, but it is a prototype. Let's see. On, let's be honest. It is a prototype. Normally, I would make a new one, but I, I'm sorry, I cannot. I don't have the time. And I really wanted to have a video for you guys today. So it starts with the Lake District. What I did, I added some washies here and there. See a strip of washi here. You can open these up and then have the other cards inside. Let's just, you know, put a card in. Like so, see? And then you close it again. Uh, there's this, the washi strip over. These are the zigzag folds that we made. So I wanted to sort of cover them. Another envelope, the Cotswolds, an envelope, and a piece of washi. I just used these washi, and I, I like it. I like the effect. It reminds me of Joey. <laughs> Joey does this all the time. And then you can flip it around and then see the backs of the, um, of the cards and the backs of the envelopes. Yeah, so you can put a lot in here and decorate if you want very eclectic yes very not me but you know i'm getting outside of my comfort zone perfect guys i hope i hope you did enjoy the video it was a bit of a disaster but those can be fun those can be fun sometimes uh things go wrong uh, i hope you all have a wonderful wonderful day if it's very warm we are try to stay cool hydrate and uh, i'll see you again very soon guys bye